What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a door in Unity. So yeah, here we go. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this. When you click on the door, it lets you through and points to whichever side you're on. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Okay. And then when you can close it and then you can't go through it because it's a door. So yeah, you're going to put whatever you want above this and here's the script. You can always make the stuff better. Yeah. So what we need is a sprite first of all for our object. So I made a sprite sheet right here for the doors. So we've made our closed door, our left open door. Now make sure the anchor is right here so that it instantiates on this point. And same with the right door, you want this anchor here. And there we go, we split that up. Okay, so back to the script. We have a couple scripts here. So if we look at the door, we have two separate colliders on the sides. So you can tell when someone is on the left or right side. You can do this for, through raycasts also, but these cover where the door is, not just a straight line. Okay, so what we're going to do here is here's the door script itself, just the door. So it says right here, if the door is, so we make a variable called door open and we set it to false first because the door is closed, defaultly, and we get the box collider and sprite collider make variables for that and then get them down here just so we can edit them and then we have our sprites for door closed open left and right okay so now when we click on the object if the door is not open and we're at left side then open it at the left and make it so we can walk through it and then it is now open same thing with this except right side and then if it is open and we click on it change it to closed make it so we can't walk through it and then the door is not open anymore. So the right collider and the left collider are basically the same script with just different variables and stuff. So what we have here is we have a public static bool so we can read it and write it in other classes and it'll stay the same. Okay, it's at right side and it's default false. And if something runs into it and it's the player, then it is at the right side and it is not at the left side. Same thing with this static bool variable that we have and it's at the left side is naturally false and then if we run into it and it's the player then it is now at the left side and the right it is now not at the right side so yeah that's how you get this and by the way if you're going to use static bools you need to reference the class itself so my class is called left door collider script and same with this one right door collider script and you need to put the class dot the static variable. Make sure it's static or else you cannot use it unless you have some other thing. You have to have like a class instance, but that's just, you don't need that right now. So yes, this is how you make that. And then on our door, we need to apply some stuff. So in our script here, when we push play, it automatically assigns our box glider and sprite renderer through this right here. These there we go, that's what those do. And then right here, these are just the sprites for the open and closed doors. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, thumbs it up and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you next time. Bye.